Chapter 25. Amaziah was 25 years old when he began to reign. Then he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Johadan of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. But not with a perfect heart. Now it came to pass when the kingdom was established to him that he slew his servants that had killed the king, his father. But he slew not their children, but did as it is written in the law, in the book of Moses, where the Lord commanded, saying, The fathers shall not die for the children, neither shall the children die for the fathers, but every man shall die for his own sin. Moreover, Amaziah gathered Judah together and made them captains over thousands, captains over hundreds, according to the houses of their fathers throughout all Judah and Benjamin. And he numbered them from 20 years old and above and found them 300 choice men able to go forth to war that could handle spear and shield. He hired also a hundred thousand mighty men of valor out of Israel for a hundred talents of silver. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee, for the Lord is not with Israel to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. But if thou wilt go, do it. Be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before the enemy. For God hath power to help and to cast down. And Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. And Amaziah separated them to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim to go home again. Wherefore their anger was greatly kindled against Judah. And they returned home in great anger. And Amaziah strengthened himself and led forth his people and went to the valley of salt. And smote of the children of Seir ten thousand. And the other ten thousand left alive did the children of Judah carry away captive, brought them to the top of the rock, and cast them down from the top of the rock that they are all broken in pieces. But the soldiers of the army which Amaziah sent back, that they should not go with him to battle, fell upon the cities of Judah, from Samaria even unto Bethoron, and smote three thousand of them, and took much spoil. Now it came to pass after that Amaziah was come from the slaughter of the Edomites. And he brought the gods of the children of Seir. He set them up to be his gods and bowed down himself before them and burned incense to them. Wherefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against Amaziah, and he sent unto him a prophet who said to him, Why hast thou sought after the gods of the people, which could not deliver their own people out of thy hand? And it came to pass, as he talked with them, that the king said to him, Art thou made of the king's counsel? Forbear, why should thou be smitten? And the prophet forbear and said, I know that God hath determined to destroy thee, because thou hast done this, and hast not hearkened unto my counsel. And then Amaziah, king of Judah, took advice. sent to Joash the son of Jehoaz, the son of Jehu, 
king of Israel is saying, come, let us see one another in the, in the face.